Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Motorsport Manager. We are at our ninth event, or sorry, sixth event here in Munich. We're going to be doing a race. Uh, important things for this race are going to be acceleration, deceleration, and medium speed corners. As a result, we have gone and we have completed all improvements on our suspension. Both of our cars' uh, suspension have been improved as much as the original suspension allows. Hopefully that will assist us. Uh, we then put in a little bit of love onto the brakes, which still need frankly a lot of work but we're going to see what we can do as is um in terms of reliability i'm wondering actually if i shouldn't go and improve the reliability of the suspension um because it's one of the lowest reliability parts that we are using at this point um barring the, e the illegal gearboxes but that's probably going to be okay um looks like it's going to be overcast both days is the plan i think we're going to go in um our driver so luigi still has his sore neck I believe. No, it's gone. Oh, excellent. Fantastic. Not that he did badly last time. Um, oh, your, some of your stats have improved a little bit. That's nice to see. Oh, it says they've peaked. Oh, never mind. Because it says like total per week. And it's got a little plus to imp imply that it's been boosted by something. No, it's getting plus one from the sim racing enthusiasm. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and I think he's getting... He's getting a boost of feedback from my ex-driver stat. That's what's going on. Okay, that's what the pluses and minuses are there. It's to show you that there's been buffs and whatnot. Okay. I wonder if I should be looking for um, a new mechanic more than anything else. Um, but, no. I, I really would like to go and improve our, our factory. I think that's going to be a good long-term thing. Uh... Oh, there we go. This one's now offering the 1.3. Wasn't the last one? in Germany and it didn't offer the double like I wonder if we can pull this off second place is a huge gamble but it might be possible now this is interesting it's gonna be 15 degrees during practice but 19 on the actual race I'm wondering it's 25 laps because I'm like oh do we go to mediums the problem is again I think no matter what we're going to end up with two pit stops from the fuel. I don't think we're ever going to have enough fuel to go longer, unless we ran super conservative. Is it worth running super conservative to try to just make one pit? I think that's probably insane. So most likely we'll just do everything in softs. But I wonder if there's any... You know what? Let's gamble. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. We've done a fair amount of improvements to our cars here. Um, do we want to put... Our drivers will be unhappy if I go and give, like, one driver super preferential treatment. But I'm wondering if it might be worthwhile. And if so, who? I mean, Luigi did well before, but Claudia's done really well in the past, too. There we go. Yeah, he's going to be unhappy because her car is just out and out better all eggs in one basket hmm one thing I could look at is so I do this so this balances them a little bit more because she could run the slightly lower reliability say brakes the engines are the same she's running the slightly lower reliability gearbox and the slightly lower reliability suspension. But she can use the nurse trait to reduce the chance that there's a problem. And he can have the higher reliability stuff. That's probably the, the fine way to go. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to try to gamble. Maybe we can get a second place finish. I mean, it the odds are not great. And yeah, I think we have to use super softs throughout because I don't know. Is there any way? Twenty-four laps projected. I'm betting they give us a twelve-lap fuel tank. Well, I mean, I, I, the, it's possible that the fuel tanks are the same size. It's just the track is you know longer or shorter. Um, oh, you're raining right now. That's really annoying so clearly we're gonna have to run on intermediates to start with 
That's kind of crap, but yeah, it is going to be what it is going to be. Give you a bit of a balanced downforce that way. You would prefer more understeer. I don't think it matters which one I tune there. Um, well, it's for suspension. And then pull back a little bit on the gear ratios. I don't know, you might leave it there. That's going to be fine. Alright, we'll run you that way. <coughs> Claudia, how are you feeling? Um, we're going to leave the downforce as is. I'm not going to reduce it. It feels hard to believe that you want less downforce. Uh, looks like you are going to want um, stiffer suspension paired with some shorter gear ratios and the intermediates. <clears throat> Alright, let's go with that. We'll take the practice and same type of idea as usual. You and you. So, well, it's actually going to go full wet. I wonder if I should just put you on wet to start. I don't know. It's it's very rare I find that you end up having to do full wets in the on the race course. It would have to be incredibly wet to do that. But it's much more likely we'll spend time in intermediates. So at the very least, we'll try to get one level of intermediates, and then we'll reevaluate what's what. But yeah, yeah, I'm worried that if the practice conditions are so different, how it is going to be really goddamn damn. Um, uh, if the practice conditions are so different from the race conditions, it's going to be tricky. Okay, both of you, well, you want more responsive, you want stiffer. Okay. I think more responsive is also stiffer, I'm not sure. You want a little bit more oversteer rather than understeer, I think. Wrong arrow setup, yeah. Okay, well, it's not going to be soaked for long. It's going to go back down to wet soon, because it's just turning into more of a drizzle. Downforce feels fine, okay. Other people are practicing on their wets. Yeah, so we could have done a stint on the wets, um, and gotten in a little bit of experience on that one. But maybe we'll just run on, on intermediates the whole time. There might It might be completely dry. We'll have to see what uh, the weather outlook looks like when we get there. On the other hand, we could probably bring in, bring in, we can probably change the softs. Yeah, some slicks here. Because by the time we actually get out, it's going to have dried up really, really, really well. So I think that's it. And maybe we can get a rank of soft practice. I mean, I know I'm going to be running Nurse on Claudia's car. So she only gets one other modifier, and it'll probably just end up being race trip. Hopefully we can get to level 2. But we'll see how it is anyway. Plus, we can try different setups on a couple of different um, tires and see what's what. Alright, so there's a lot of things you're not particularly pleased with. We will be changing to um, softs, for one. Mm, handling. Well, I don't know where you want it. I think I'm going to bring this down this way. And bring the speed balance down there. You're happy with the downforce. It looks like you might prefer just to scooch more, though. Because we might be able to get the great or even excellent. Alright, let's give that a go. And see what we find out. And Claudia, really not keen. You want probably a little bit more downforce. And a little bit more tire camber. I don't know about bringing the gear ratios down more. I think maybe softening the suspension just to scooch. And let me not camber the tires quite as much. It's a pretty big change. There we go. A little bit more of a subtle change, maybe. Um, change your tires to the slicks. And go. Cut. 
Hopefully that'll be a little bit stronger. I mean, I, I don't think we've made anything worse. It'll be on a slightly damp track, but it's like barely so. It doesn't take much though, when you're talking about slicks, like the tiniest little damp patch is enough to send you flying in real life. So I don't know how much it affects them at this level here. It's pretty dry, it feels like. Just slightly damp. There you go. Officially dry at this point, so excellent stuff. No comments yet. There we go. Let's make the handling a bit stiffer. Really? You did You did mention that earlier. So maybe you want it stiffer, but um, brought a little more towards the, I don't know, the left from some other method. That's entirely possible. We'll try to remember that. Claudia needs the handling just a bit more. And more downforce. Okay, you're happy about that. So, more downforce, more stiffer. So, downforce to the left, suspension to the right. Hey, fastest lap. Well, look at these. Some good times. Luigi's been crushing face here. It's actually been really, really impressive. And actually, Claudia's got some great times uh, going on in this practice, too. So, I'm actually feeling mostly okay about our cars tuning. Clearly, there's something overall pretty decent. Been nice to get the level 3 racing trim, but that's going to be okay. Suspension's troubling with all these tight corners. I don't know if that means softer or what. We know that Claudia needs more downforce and stiffer suspension. Could also have helped us uh, with the lap times that we went to slicks at the end there, and other people didn't. Second or above. Big, big sponsor money if we can pull that off. So it's a German company, they want us to perform well here. Um, weather report looks clear. That's great to see. So yeah, we'll give you the nurse, and I guess the racing trim for just flat out 10% performance increase. Um, we're not planning on running intermediate tires. It looks like it's going to be clear and dry the whole time, so I'm going to assume soft plus racing trim over here for Luigi. Car setup. So you wanted more downforce. Stiffer handling. And... We were okay and okay with the speed balance regardless. It looks like you would probably prefer something a little shorter over there. And that's going to be fine. So yeah, you'll run those slicks. I'm happy with that. Uh, fuel option. So yeah, it's actually 10 laps worth of fuel. So yeah, there's no way. If it was a 12, there's a chance that with conservative fuel usage, we would have been able to manage um, only one pit stop. But there's no way. And in fact, what I'm going to do is remove just a scooch of fuel over here. Even this, like, this would be 27 laps worth of fuel if we just do this every time. Um, but that's fine. As long as the slicks last long enough, and they should. I mean, we can't have more than two, but that's going to be alright. Okay, so hopefully, that's going to be a little closer to what she's looking for. Because, yeah, the, she's not happy about the, the balance overall. Um, meanwhile, you... Uh, looks like you would still prefer a little bit more downforce. Was the handling ever not poor? It was very poor there. It's only poor here. I suspect you want a little bit more handling. And the speed was poor there. It's better here. I think this tweak might be fine. Again, the softs and the same thing. We'll go in with uh, nine laps worth of fuel to start off with. And I guess that's going to be that. Um... It's fairly warm. The tires will warm up pretty quickly, but we'll still we'll still do the thing where we start in a slightly more aggressive thing. We may have to scale back on the fuel a little faster. We'll see how it goes. So we're starting 12th and 13th. So despite our great trial times, we did not random a very good grid placement. And I think they just pulled the names out of the hat if you don't have a qualification thing. And so we got a little bit screwed there, but Luigi, right from the start... Advances a couple of spots, very nice, falling back a little bit, but no, there he goes again, now in 8th place. Most people are running on softs, a few on mediums. I don't think the mediums are going to do much for us in this particular scenario here. Overtaking three drivers, go Claudia as well. Well, I mean, she's basically back to where she was. I think, she started, I think we started in 11th and 12th, right? So she's back in 12th, but there's still going to be a lot of swaps happening very quickly here. Paris is still quite cold. I mean... We're not, we're not doing a whole lot with the tires yet, because the opportunity to get really high speeds isn't quite there with the other pack. But 
but still not too shabby. Alright, we're gonna go and drop the engine mode down for both of them, just so that we don't get any weird fuel behavior. And we're still gonna be lighter than some of these, so probably okay. I mean, we could've gone to full overtake right from the start, but... I don't know, I don't know what's right. Like, it, it feels like going with the aggressive fuel standards doesn't actually help it that much at this point, but I might be wrong. I mean, I could run her in, like, say, overtake for now. Since she's gonna be a little harder on her tires anyway. And most likely we'll have to do a, a swap sooner. She's got more work to do. Although, we really need to get someone in second place for our big sponsorship thing. We may not get it, but we'll see what we can do. So, I suppose I should watch her and see, like, what kind of difference this makes, if any. Tire temp's finally getting up there. How much of a difference is it going to make? And everyone's still so goddamn clustered. There's, yeah, we don't... Oh, someone did crash. We don't have a lot of feedback as to, like, current fuel usage. Like, I don't know if, like, going the overtake mode in this makes very little difference or not. You know, like, are you just limited by other people in front of you, or are you still trying to rev like crazy to get some stuff done? That was almost there, and then you just hit a wall of cars. And Luigi's having some issues in there as well. Well, now we're back to back. The two drivers, although most of that means Luigi's fallen back. Claudia has moved up a little bit from the points he's dropped to, but that's about it. I could encourage him to let her pass, but I'm worried that's going to kill his rate too, too much. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go back to me here. Last thing I want to do is, like, screw up our fuel usage too much. I don't, I don't like these clustered situations. It just feels like nothing happens. Claudia's back down to 14th place. I don't know. Maybe we have a bad config. It's possible. It's possible that my last changes don't work. Maybe maybe I should be doing much shorter stints and doing a lot more tweaks. Maybe I should bring them in twice. Like, I'm, I'm partially going in there to try to find as much information as possible before I make a change, but maybe it makes more sense to go put them out for two laps, bring them in, make a tweak, put them out for two laps, bring them in, make a tweak as much as possible. That's entirely... That, that might be what we need to do. I don't know. So clustered. Tires are basically all wearing at the same rate, so we're not going to really have a pit advantage. Like last time, one of the reasons we did pretty well is because we did have a real pit advantage. I probably should have just gone for the ninth place or above sponsor. But that was a big, big possible prize there for us. I don't know, maybe people will have mechanical issues. Like, that's one interesting question is mostly with Luigi, how is this part going to hold out? So far, they're fine. I believe that Claudia's is going to be okay. She does have the, the nurse mechanic mode going on right now. Um, so there's a really good chance she won't have to replace any parts, and you could make up a lot of time doing that. Let's go up to speed 3, which I forgot to do. Oh! Flat spot on my tires! Oh, you are on push still, which you shouldn't be. That's part of it. But you just wore your tires out a lot more, a lot faster. So tell you what, I'm going to put you back in a higher engine mode because you're probably going to have to pit a little sooner. So flat spotting, as far as I know, is like you lock up your brakes and then just like, you know, you're, you're skidding on one spot in your tire. So you flatten out that spot, ruins the uh, condition of them a lot, and probably means that you've done a particularly bad corner along the way. So yeah, her tire condition's going down a fair bit fat. Well, it's not that far off from, uh, from Luigi here. But yeah, we'll burn through your fuel a little faster. We'd already done that before anyway. I'm, I'm worried that you're going to be pitting with, you know, still a couple laps with the fuel in there, which doesn't feel as efficient. I mean, it means we can save maybe one second from the refueling step, but I'd still feel better if you were going through your tank a little bit more and racing a little bit more with a lighter car, because they do calculate that in. It is a thing. So I wonder if I should start with only, like, seven laps worth of fuel to start off with. I don't know. And you're dropping further... So, you're here, pit stop is here. So yeah, as soon as you pass the pit... Actually, maybe I'll wait until you pass the, um, the start-finish line, and then I'll schedule the pit stop. Just to see what it says about the lane calculations. And Luigi's gonna be fine. Okay, there we go. So, we're gonna put some new softs on there, that's gonna be fine. Uh, 17 laps after this, so, I mean, if we went, like, for 8 and, um, well, I guess 9 and 8, that would be fine, although we know that these, these fuel calculations seem odd, your parts seem okay. Let's go for that. 
and we'll drop you back into medium engine mode after that. So, Luigi, you're here. You've got one chain, one and change laps left. I think you can do another lap. Okay, defending ninth place, great. Oh, Claudia's having a really hard time here. And there we go. So, pick that up. 16 laps. So, we'll go with like 8 and change, and then maybe 8 and change. Parts are managing. The transmission's one of the things being hurt the most, but otherwise we're okay. You're up to 7th. You're basically going to be pitting alongside everyone else, most likely. Pit is complete. Well, let's see what we can do. I mean, that guy in 18th is just bumping right up against you. I don't know, like... Feels like there's something with our cars that's not quite cutting it here. Like, in my previous run as this team, Claudia ended up being by far the, the, the dominant, but it might I might have had a slightly different mix in how their cars were being developed. You know, there's there might be something that's missing that I put in Luigi's car this time that turns out to be more important for some of these. Luigi has completed his pit, he's back out, he did drop to 10th, but quite a few people ahead of him are still going to have to pit. And yeah, I don't, I don't get the medium tires. I mean, there's a fair amount of track grip that's being developed. It's still, you know, it's on the warm side. I'm sure medium tires will perform perfectly fine, but I don't think you're going to get another pit stop out of it. I don't know, I might be wrong. What if you could have just done a one pit game? How crazy would that be? Alright, tire temps are good. 17th, 16th for, for Claudia. I mean, she went up a little bit, but mostly because I think a lot of other people were pitting. John, 17th. She's not having a good set of races. And she has done well in the past, so I, I don't know what the deal is. Um, there must be something with one of the parts on her car that's just not as impressive as it could be. Or I've been consistently tuning the cars badly, which probably is most likely. Personal best lap. Go, go, Luigi. All right, doing well here. Fuel situation is golden. Our tire situation is pretty good, too. And I could have them drive a little bit more aggressively. I mean, they probably could afford it. You know what? Let's, let's get Luigi to do it. He, he's got another pit regardless, so let's go ahead and send him a little bit more. You know what? Both of them. This, this passive stuff is just not cutting it for me. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on the tires. If they start to get too, too hot, then they're going to burn off way too quickly. Way more than we want. He keeps setting a lot of personal records here, so he's getting better as the things go on here. Alright, opening for... Nope, and you get passed again. She's having such a bad race. It feels good. No, you're having a shitty race. Your race is bad, and you should feel bad. I'm having a hell of a hard time passing this guy. You know, maybe we should put the neck brakes back on. Maybe that was apparently part of the success for Luigi. Does better when he's hurt. Hard time's going up, but I think that's going to be all right. Nice little overtake there by Luigi. I mean, basically just puts him back in seventh place. Um, the gap, the time gap ahead of him isn't too much. Or is this the time gap to the person in front of them? Right, no, they're, I'm, I was misreading it, that's it. I'm four seconds behind the guy in front of me. Yeah, I, I think I've been reading this badly. The person in front of me is actually just about to potentially pass the person in front of them, which I think is exactly what happened. So our gap is, it is shrinking. So we are catching up here, which is nice. Meanwhile, Claudia is, is closing with the person ahead of her as well, and she's in 15th now. All right, more aggressive driving profile. Maybe I've just been being way too conservative. Uh, our tire temp is getting really hot, but I'm okay with that because we don't have we don't have a ton of laps left. This is going to maintain. Uh, she's got to be a little bit more careful. The fuel burn's going to be fine. Okay, you're going to have to pit because you just got past the the start finish marker, so you're going to do that after the pit stop. You have eight laps remaining, so we're going to put in eight and change laps in there. Your parts... I, I can't afford to fix these parts. I'm going to have to gamble that they uh, they stay working. That's just the way it's going to be. And... Claudia... Yeah, you're also not going to be able to compete another one after that, so you're going to do this. 
uh, fuel options, so you're going to have eight after this, so you're going to get eight and change, although this will apparently be overkill, I don't know, but maybe we'll drive more aggressively. Your parts at least are fine. So here's hoping that some of the other people are going to need to pit and replace a couple of parts. All right, we got your pit scheduled, so you can keep going on push, that's fine. Low fuel, but you're cl closing in on the uh, pit stop, so that's going to be fine here. Come on, good pit, good pit, good pit, good pit, good pit. Okay, green check mark, good, good. All right, over here as well. Green. Oh, we had a great refueling. Good everything else. It's not too shabby. Um, right pit stop, that was super quick, excellent. So you got a fair amount left. I think, Claudia, I'm going to put you on the uh, the standard few, uh, uh, tires for now. Um, I'll leave you on the, the push. I think that's going to be okay, because, again, you've got a bit more smoothness. And we'll probably go a little bit more aggro by the end of it. They're both running a little bit more aggro on fuel, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. If that stops saying excess fuel at some point, we'll definitely have to drop things down a scooch. Jumps fourth place, so I think that was a big pit stop for a lot of other people. If you can... I mean... Three seconds... Oh, it's growing... It's growing, you're not catching up. Now the gap's getting bigger. The tires are getting quite warm. Alright, you're going to have to do something, because the people in front of you are not going to be pitting again. Oh, shit. Your stroke... Oh, no! Your rear ring got sm... Son of a bitch! We do have to bring you in. And replace your rear wing, which got knocked off completely. God damn it. Well, you're getting another fresh set of tires, so do that. <sighs> Any chance? No. We're not going to get our top two finish. Well, we knew it was going to be a risk. At this point, though, top nine even looks a little bit scary. Someone drove into us and knocked your rear wing off. So it really affects your high-speed cornering, but it's affecting, like, all your cornering. Look at that. Like, you're just falling behind, 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 and that's even before you've pitted. Now, the other guy should get a penalty, and I mean, he's probably damaged his car pretty heavily as well. Alright, you're still in excess fuel. Your tires are actually still quite fine. Yeah, you're welcome. Can you do anything? You're far back in 17th place. You got, like, crazy excess fuel as well. Oh, top 10 finish looks like it's in the cards for Claudia. How, how's the gap? It is, in fact, growing there. And you're 16 seconds behind the person in front of you. I mean, you're driving fast, so something might happen, but it feels a little bit unlikely. Lap 22. Oh, you don't have excess fuel anymore, so we're going to drop you down to medium. We'll keep you on the push for the tires. I think that's going to be okay. Two, 23, 24, 25. It's four laps and change. I'm going to put you on medium. Because you're probably not going to end with very much. Let's keep an eye on Luigi and make sure he can actually finish on the fuel he's got. 22, 23, 24, 25. So, I mean, when he hits 23, he'll have exactly... So now, exactly three laps left. He's actually not going to have quite enough to finish. Uh, we're going to have to put you on a fuel conservation plan here. I mean, you know, he'll probably still be fine. He's got 23 seconds... Um, the person behind him. He's still closing in, so he's probably going to end up one... Oh, you're back on excess. Okay, good immediately. Rise huge with which the suspension... Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't afford to decide to fix that. It's just the way it's going to be. Uh, you can go to, like, super attack mode. Well, is there any reason for it? Three seconds behind, 3.2... You are closing in. I wonder if you could get up one more there. Ms. Mm, Claudia here. A bit of a pack. Not on the last lap yet, although you were about to. You know what? Go to overtake mode. So you're now on your final lap, and you've got more than a lap worth of fuel. You might be able to squeeze something out here. And over here, you are on your final lap. Oh, you finished. Mm, you're looking ninth. Still got the excess fuel, and the finish line's just coming up here. Well, 8th place finish in the end. We would have gotten, if we'd gotten the lower end sponsor, we would have been okay. I don't know, I gotta say, Luigi felt like he was doing pretty good there near the end. If someone else had gotten hit and lost their rear wing, then that might have changed absolutely everything. God.
It's disappointing, but I mean, what can you do? That's just that's just bad luck. Checking cars. Watch us being caught for an illegal car on this race too. Nope. Okay. <sighs> so team wise, we are in six. I mean, it doesn't look like we're must race to drop down to seventh. So I think that's going to be okay. Damn. Yeah. So I mean, we could have made was it four fifty. Yeah, we could have made 450,000 pounds on that race if I picked the other sponsor, but there's such a high high possible reward. Morale goes down, but morale went up over here. I mean, overall, we're okay. You're still developing some skills, which is wonderful. I mean, we still made over a million pounds, but... Uh, would we would be, be over eight now? We... Well, no. Okay, if we take the medium sponsor, we would not be over 8 million pounds now, so we wouldn't have been able to get out ahead. Uh, an interview. Yeah, we'll accept an interview. Um, had a bit of a disaster finishing down. Um, you know, he's unlucky. Let's let's be nice. Come on. Hmm. Willing to open, talk terms, huh? Interesting. Sergio. Do we actually have a scout with you? Oh, that's the scouting report over here. Um... Let's compare you. You're 24. You still have a little bit of potential. Uh, so we're going to compare you to, say, Luigi. So you have more braking, less cornering, less smoothness, more overtaking. Consistency is about the same. Adaptability is the same. Fitness about the same. Feedback about the same. Slightly more focus. He's got a pet dog. Oh! I think just bit one of the mechanics. Oh, that's time-based ones. So that'll go away at some point. And these bonuses are already calculated into whatever. Hmm. 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 No, I don't. I don't think so. Um. So if we sort by ability, who's the best driver we know? Ada Yodantir over here. He's quite good. Like, do we want to look into more braking? Cornering's the same. Still good smoothness, not as good as, as Luigi, but still pretty good. Great over uh, overtaking. Not super high on the consistency. His form's in good, though. He's also got a pet dog. He's got the, the pay driver as well, the sponsorship deal. Um, hmm. So what's the consistency? Variability in driver's lap time. Yeah, I don't know. We still have lots of scouting in the queue. That's probably going to have to stay there. I mean, we might be able to get someone else from another uh, another division. Seems pretty unlikely, but it's possible. I mean, we could look at some of the... I don't know. Just look at some various youngsters. It's nice to see people with, um, you know, who still have a lot of potential. I might be able to snag them a little easier now, and then, you know, by the end of next season, have them be particularly strong. So, we'll queue it up anyway. Meanwhile, the cars... Oh, yeah, we're still doing the, the repairs. Okay, car repairs complete. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, if I want to do better this season, I should be sinking money into new parts. But I think it makes sense to invest in the factory going forward. Um, all right, you're peaked out on that. Peaked out there, working on the brakes. I mean, I think I think this is fine. Keep working on the performance, because the reliability is pretty high on most of these. I mean, we still have some problems in some of the races, but it's mostly pretty high. So if we can just get more performance, I think I'd be quite happy. So we will keep focusing on that side of things, and that's fine. I mean, the other thing I could be doing is is looking for a new mechanic. This guy's still got a lot of potential. This one does not. Like, I'm wondering... Find someone else in our league and see if we couldn't get, say, this Alex guy. More concentration, slightly better part fixes, better pit stops, better reliability, better chemistry, much better performance. Some unique abilities here. He's not interested. He wants to join a, 
team in a higher championship. Um, oh. That's kind of annoying. How do we... Oh, there we go. Clear selection. That's what I want to do. What about Eve over here? Nope. And then we get things that are just straight up three stars, which is better than mine? God, he is a lot better. A little less chemistry. I'm betting we will actually have a very hard time finding a replacement. Ah. Okay, might be worth doing this. So you are currently being paid 36 and wages are important to you. So let's offer you, um, let's offer you 39 for a medium contract. Sure, you want me to pay all the, the buyout clause? Sure, that's fine. Uh, you would like a nice signing on fee. I don't know what that means. Here, we'll offer you, uh, we'll offer you two years salary as a bonus. That seems pretty nice. Um, and a bonus size if we finish 10th or above, sure. Something like that. You really don't get a lot of dynamic feedback on that, so it'll be a little tricksy to see how it goes, but if we can pick you up, that'd be nice. So they have a certain patience rating, so they'll come back and say, no, this doesn't work for me because of blah, and then you can negotiate back and forth. The, the actual, like, sort of mail-based negotiation is kind of nice. It'd just be nice to have a little bit more feedback ahead of time. Um, it's kind of reports. Oh, we're going to vote on maybe changing type of tires. Who am I racing for? I'm feeling myself lately. You tell me to push, conserve, overtake. I don't feel like it's me racing anymore. I feel like I, I'm a puppet. I want to make my own decisions for a while, just so I can remember what it uh, feels like to race without the whole team in my ear. Thanks to this, I really appreciate the trust. So, if I say yes, she will have the personality trait gone rogue, but get a personality trait renewed passion. Or, I could say I'm the boss here and just lower her morale. You know what? Let's try it. I have no idea what this is going to do. Um, so, gone rogue is driver will not take any orders at all for eight weeks, but for 20 weeks... She'll have renewed passion, plus one to all the things. Alright, that sounds like fun. Sure, that's fine. We got an alert here? Oh, it's getting complete. Yeah, alright, and some of the drivers. We'll, we'll let the queue keep going out, that's gonna be okay. Well, I guess we're gonna put a cut in here. Uh, oh, you know what, maybe we'll go until the uh, the contract proposal and see what's what. And put in at least a bit of a counter order there. Oh, it's doing the races in the other leagues. Mm-hmm. Things happen, I don't really care what's going on in those leagues right now. And all right, so how'd it go? Uh, interesting. Let's get back to the negotiation table. So he's lost two ticks of patience. He's insulted by the cost per race. But I mean, there's no there's no hint as to what he might want. Anyway, we'll double his old salary. He's fine with this, and we'll increase the signing fee to the cap. There you go, as far as I can go. Is there a cap for this? Oh, there's a cap for this. Tell you what, then we'll go ahead and, and cap them both out. I didn't realize there was. This is literally as much as I'm allowed to offer. Take it or leave it, because there's, there's no other choice whatsoever. All right, we'll put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. We'll see you guys next time.